Good morning and welcome to all of my new patrons. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for your continued support. I um, I really hope that you'll find, uh, you know, some inspiration here and enjoy your time with me. Okay, so we are on to part three of the paper bag journal, guys. Um, and I have decided I want to now go ahead and finish this cover. But just, I don't know, I just think it's time now. And at this point, I mean, I've just played around and just gathered some various bits of um, lace and a little bit of a doily. And I'm just going to put that up there. But then I found this little honey-colored button, and it's just perfect for that uh, center of that little flower. And I think right there is going to finish that off nice because it, with it being a... Um, Sorry, let me make sure everything is in frame here. With it being such a small journal, I don't want to over embellish it. Because these can tend to get, you know, too much on it. And there's quite a bit going on with the metal anyway, so I don't want to overdo it. But, but of course, you just take the um, ideas and do it your own way. I just know um, in the past I've had a lot of people want me to go through the whole process and it's very difficult with YouTube to to do these, um, well for me it is. I know other people have been able to manage the series but I don't know. I'm just finding that I am much more relaxed <clears throat> on this platform than I was on YouTube and I don't I can't tell you why but I do feel a lot more freedom here uh, it's just you've got to be so careful with YouTube now um, and YouTube is awesome it is absolutely awesome but um, I, I am really finding a lot of restrictions on there and as I said to you before I'm getting very concerned about where YouTube is going and at any time they can just pull your channel so um, so yeah I'm really enjoying it here I hope you guys are I hope that you will feel um, that you can you know interact with me and um, I'd like to see you know more participation with comments and suggestions I'm totally open for suggestions guys because um, that's the whole point of this is I want to know what you guys are interested in seeing and I can then start putting into place uh, videos that are of more interest to you. So, <clears throat> Okay, so where have we gotten to? We've completed this. This is the front page. We'll come back later and maybe just add a little tab or something up there. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through, I know I marked this because um, I ended up with two pages on the, at the same um, width, you know, cut at the same, and I don't like that. I want to vary it slightly. So I thought this would be a great page to go ahead and extend because that one's already got the pocket in there. So I'm just going to extend this one. <clears throat> this was some paper I had left over that I'd already cut. So, what I've done is just created a little hinge that I can um, glue down, and I'm going to probably come back over. I don't mind that I'm going to cover that up. That's, that's totally fine, because I'm going to also do something along here. But I want to try to get that to where it's just a, a little bit different. Um, I want it to fall just under that page, if you know what I mean, so that you've got some, some different um, <laughs> widths of the pages. Gosh, I'm ugh, fumbling for the words today. Okay, so I know I want to do that. So I think I folded that 
and made a hinge. Then I folded it over because I know I want to put a little notch in there and make that another flip out pocket. I like those. Um, and then we can create a tag for that and it won't impact on, um, you know, if you want to add some more pockets here or maybe somebody wants to um, do some journaling over that image. So just lining that up and just snip that out. And at this point I want to take this to the machine and stitch this on the two sides. And once I've done that, we'll get that in there and make a tag. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, there is a close-up. You can see now that I've added the stitching to it. I've thought about moving the camera over to the machine, but I can't see any real benefit in that for you guys because it's loud. You're not going to really be able to see anything that's going to help you. So I, I, that's the reason I haven't done so. If there comes a time like, you know, if I'm demonstrating, I've already done a Ruffles um, demo on my YouTube channel, but if there were ever a time that I felt that that would benefit, I, I would move the camera over there, but just to see me do that, it's just, it's not going to show you anything really. I'm just lining that up. So that's, yep, happy with that. So that's going to flip over, and that's extended that slightly, which is good. So now we're, let's just make a tag for that. <coughs> So I know that is two and three eighths, and four and three quarter. So I'm going to have to make one for that. I doubt anything that I've got is going to fit that particular one. So I've still got this paper pack <clears throat> that I picked up in the, at the Hobby Lobby, and you can see I got that for five dollars. This is I love this paper. Oh, can't tell you how much I want to get back to the Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so I'm going to take <clears throat> one of these and cut it down to the size I want. tab on the top. Now let me just make sure that is going to fit. No problems. I do this because if I decorate it and then find out it doesn't fit, it's just a nightmare as you probably know. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So now let's just put <clears throat> get my paper back here, guys. I'm going to put some kind of lace. I'll stitch some lace to the top of that, but I want to do something So I've got these little scrap papers left over, and I think I'm just going to do a little bit of collage on there. Let me see if I've got some other papers that might look nice with that. <clears throat> this is my scrap pile. I just throw everything that I think I might be able to use in.
like the idea of that. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on the side. So I, I tend to try to work through with the pockets and things and um, leave the little final touches to the end. Um, but then again, you know, there's every day's a little bit different. That's not always the case, but it tends to be the way I work. I tend to not work all the way through. I do a couple of things here and then I go to the back because I want to make sure that I distribute my pockets and tuck spaces evenly um, throughout the journal because if you get the front part of the journal super packed and then you find, oh my gosh, it's so alligator mouth, well then you're going to have the whole back of it. It's not much going on. That's just something I've kind of learned <clears throat> over the years and it really works well for me. But everybody's got their own, you know, way of doing it, which is which is great. That's what makes us all different. Um, and I'm not saying my my way is better than anybody else's because it's it's not. It's just the way I find I like to do things. I just ink these up a little bit. So this morning <clears throat> I went for a walk and then came back and have been working on the elderflower cordial. Um, we made that last year and it was so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to get that going because I want to try to get as much of that made this year as possible. We could only get about four bottles out of it last year, but I want to get stocked up and hold some of them back for, um, for gifts. At Christmas is what I'm hoping to give. If I don't drink it all myself, it is so nice. Really, really nice. Like that. Now these are <coughs> part of my porch prints bee bundle. Uh, and I've just got little bits and pieces left over, so... If you ever have any questions on, I, well, I I think I did tell you in the beginning. It's um, the things I'm working with are from Artie Mays and uh, my porch prints. Okay, I'm just gonna glue that down there, and then I'm gonna stitch this. And when I stitch it, I will add some lace to the top of that. Okay, so I will run and do that, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, there is the finished tag. I added a little bit of, it was a um, sheer panel, and I put it over some muslin. So that is going to go in there. And this was the little pocket I cut out before. I decided I want to put that one there because I think the color against that, it needs some color there. So Yeah, that's going to fit perfect on that. And then make just that little tag there. I'll just cut this out and put that on there. I'm just trying to use up yeah, that'll look cute. 
tell you what, before I do that, let me stencil on that real quick. I've got this honeycomb stencil. I think that's going to look pretty just to have that on the background, just to add a little more interest. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that out because, see, this is... I've got to keep it out or I'll forget about having these things. Let's put him there and add a little bit of... Um, Okay, so I've got a question for all of you. <clears throat> Would you be interested in seeing me play around with a jelly plate? Because I've never owned one. Um, that's something that just kind of went by me. I know they're not as popular as they used to be, but I am intrigued. But I'm curious... Um, if that's something you guys would be interested in, because I'm going to try to do a bit more of the mixed media um, projects, and you know, I just want to keep it a varied. I don't want it to just be um, journal related, but this is where I, it will be very, very helpful for, to, for me. You know, if you guys can share if that's the sort of stuff that you'd be interested in or or not. Um, I am curious about it. Okay, I'm feeling that's fine. I might come back and add something to that. Maybe just a journaling space here. I don't know. But we need something for this. I'll probably just put a journal card in that later. We'll come back to that. Now, what I want to do, <clears throat> these are specimen cards again, my porch prints. But I just am pulling it out because I want that bumblebee. Because these would be too large for this journal. And if I trim that off, it makes it very narrow. So I'm just going to use the, the bee image from this one. But let me see if I can. I'm going to try to cut this out with the big shot and, and save the frame. If I can do And we will make a, oh, I'm sorry about that. We'll make a specimen card <clears throat> using some scrapbook paper or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Let me see if I've got a square that size. That does seem to be the only problem with these that you purchase is finding a die that you've got that's the same but I'm just gonna I'm gonna use that one just because I'm trying to save this to use in another project yeah you can see that's a little bit too big but you, it's almost impossible to match those up completely all right so now we are going to need I'll fussy cut him out
Okay. Now, let's see. I need to make a frame for him. wide as he is. Yeah, I think I can do that. I'll go ahead and cut these out and uh, and try to use those because that will be the easiest one. have done those at the same time. Yeah. Yep, let me cut that first and make sure I got those cut out the same. because I am, I've got to make sure I cut those out the, at the same spot. I've got some of that low tack tape somewhere. I should dig that out to hold that in place. <clears throat> takes time, doesn't it? So at this point, I'm going to cut that. And I know I've got to trim a little bit off of that bottom. Actually, just thinking, I kind of want to do something on the background. <clears throat> Let me just look through my stuff, guys, real quick. I don't know if this is uh, one of the images. I'm just, I'm just wondering if I want to do. another image. Mm, I kind of like that. <clears throat> and then maybe backing it with something Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So three and a quarter 
by three and a half. All right, let me just cut this out, guys. Sorry, this is, but this is how, uh, you know, it happens. Three and a quarter. Get that cut off. By three and a half. Oh, I hate to cut that little fella off. I wonder if that would work if I do it. Yeah, I can still. I'm going to try to save that B. <laughs> Three and a quarter now. Okay. And same thing here. Let me get a nice image. I mean, this, you know, it just takes time, so, oh yeah, I cut that one down shorter, didn't I? Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, sorry, this has taken much longer than uh, I anticipated, but I want this to, the reason I've done this is I want this to have an interesting image on the back of the specimen card as well. I don't really like specimen cards where that's on the front and then that's what you see. I just, I don't like that. So that's the reason I've chosen to do what I've done. <laughs> there is a reason behind it. <laughs> and now I'm going to put this image and let me get this B where I want him to be Yes, I like that. I just think that looks more interesting. See? And then now I'm going to back this. Oh, I'll have to have acetate as well. Mm, yeah, I didn't think that through. Because I don't really want to double up the acetate. Oh, what the heck. I will. <clears throat> but having said that, the other thing I could have done, which would have looked, I think, really, really nice, I'll show you. Is I could have put some index paper and made that a journal spot, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and add the, the acetate and we'll just have it as specimen slide. Just take a little off of that. Yeah, you start one one thing in your mind and uh, as you're creating it it shifts, doesn't it, to what whatever looks best at the time for you. Okay, let's get this down. And then I've got to make a little hinge. So you see, yeah, I like how those have come out. I think that's really sweet. Okay, so I need to now, let me just make sure that's going to work perfect. I'm not saying it's going to go on that page because I'll probably shift this to the back, I think, back here. 
Okay, so before I glue that together, I'm going to put a hinge because otherwise the hinge is going to cover this and I want the hinge to be sandwiched, if that makes sense. And I think I'll make it out of this. Uh, let's see. Actually, I've got some of this left over. I think that would be pretty to carry on around. Yes, okay, I'll do that. So, what did I say? Three. Oh, three and three. Oh, no, I've got to trim that off. That's right. That's a little bit. Okay. Three and three quarter. <clears throat> Let me cut that. And I'm probably going to want about an inch and a half. Three and three quarter. And then I'm going to score that. I want about. Three quarter hanging over, and then oh no, an inch. All right, so at an inch, I'm scoring that, guys, and then just fold it, and you'll see what I'm doing here. I hope this is making sense to you. I want to sandwich that inside so we don't have to, it doesn't cover up. And then now can glue those together. So, do, 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 do. I think I'm going to put this here because I've got quite a lot. And that will affect our writing space because I want to make sure in my journals I always like to leave a lot of space for writing and for, um, you know, being able to add bits, memorabilia, and other pockets and things. So I'm just adding some glue to that. And then I'm going to have this on the bottom of the page. Like so. And so that flips over. I think that's really nice. I like how that came out. Now, oh, and you could have just made that into a journal card that slides in and out. I just think for some added interest that's really nice and it's it's not taking away the space for us to write on. Okay, so while I've got the stencil out, because we are running out of time, I'm going to very quickly, I should have done this first. I told you guys I, I try to sew and stencil before I sewed the signature in, but I didn't do it this time. <laughs> I think because I'm doing this process on a video, I've kinda, I kind of lost my way. So just here and there, I'm going to add a little bit for interest. And yes, if you do this after you've put it in the journal, just take a piece of paper. It's easy enough to, to go back and do. Just going to add a little bit on the pages. It just adds, you know, a little more interest to a plain page. even 
put a little bit there. Now, the other thing, let me get... Uh, this one I'm going to stamp a B. Now what you can do if you've already, if you haven't stamped like I didn't, um, this is a uh, Delusions ruler, I don't know. I don't know what exactly, but I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. It's got the ruler over here. I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to meant to hold one of her stamps. It could be, but um, I like to use it just to place under and do my stamping, so I'm just going to add this little bumblebee. I'm just going to add him on a couple of the pages. So let me move back here. Oh, I think he'd look nice on that page. Okay, there we go. So that's that's done. So now let's carry on with the stenciling. Just want to get a little bit more, and then that's gonna gonna be it for part three. And it is coming along. It's, it's uh, really starting to come together now, I think. They're just fun little... Um, I like to do these in between big journals because it just they're just such nice little quick and easy... projects. And these are really great. You can do these, um, these are great little Christmas. For people who don't know what a junk journal is, these are awesome little stocking stuffers because um, everybody likes to add photos and, um, you know, write little Christmas memories. So these are really, really nice for somebody who isn't necessarily into journaling. Um, so keep that in mind. And they're also really good sellers at markets. Okay, guys. There we go. Let's have a recap. I always like to do a recap on what we actually did. We finished off the cover, which I'm very, very happy with. That's looking very sweet. We have stenciled. We've managed to do this pocket and tag. This pocket. And then we've done the specimen card, which ended up being longer than I intended for it, that to take. But, okay, I think that's quite a bit. Let me tie this up. The only thing I can tell is I'm going to, I want to distress this more. I want, to, I want more ink on that, but I can keep adding that to it until I get it the way I like it. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do some B. That's what it needs because I thought, well, that's looking, that looks a little bit plain. But now, see, it just needed that little honeycomb. There, that's exactly what that needed. Oh, loving it. Okay, guys, that is it for part three. And I will be back very soon for part four. Like I said, I don't know how many parts it's going to take, but it takes what it takes. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Stay safe, and I'll see you again soon.
Bye.